and welcome gorgeous Capricorn to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's see what your angels and guides, spirit and source energy wants to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how spirit speaks directly to you. You might see a sign, a symbol, an image on one of the cards which really resonates for you. If it does resonate, take notice of it because that is a message direct from spirit to you. So let's take a look at your first card. Vast vistas, expand your horizons. It's time to get out of your box. Remove barriers and limitations that you've placed in front of yourself consciously or unconsciously. It's time to make a move, expanding your horizons mentally, emotionally, situationally. See how that resonates for you. How does that fit into your life at the moment, Capricorn? In some way, there's a need to expand your horizons. Very powerful. Let's take a look at your next card. Stepping into power. Okay, because when you do this, when you expand your horizon, step outside of your comfort zone a little bit, see what's really out there for you. You're in fact going to be stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. And this might also resonate, of course, if you're going through a tough time. If there's loss or grief or difficulty or disappointment in any way that you've been experiencing recently, this is a message for you. Spirit is saying to you, you are strong beyond measure. Let's take a look at this deck guidance for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Angels and guides, please bring through a message for Capricorn. Okay, this one here then. Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. And for some of you, this is what this card is connected to. Okay, it's connected to new horizons, expanding your horizons, stepping outside the box here. Do something that's totally unlike you. Do something silly. Take a chance. Have fun. Beautiful. Gratitude. I'm seeing that there's a prayer. There's a meditation. There's something that you've been asking spirit for. And I do feel that your prayer is going to be answered. Life is one big continuous cycle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. And this is exactly what spirit wants for you, Capricorn. Victory in prosperity and abundance. That's what spirit is wanting for you. So gratitude might actually help with this. So definitely practice gratitude in the week ahead. Guidance, please. Angels and guides, messages for Capricorn. This is a romance deck. So let's see what messages I'd like to bring through around romance. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So it might be linked into parent issues or family issues maybe surrounding your relationship with someone there with your significant other. There might be some tensions in your family or there might just be something significant happening in the family and it's affecting your relationship. Free yourself. It's time to take back control over your life. Free yourself from a toxic, difficult circumstance, dynamic in a relationship. It's time to free yourself. Very interesting. And also, if you are single, um, there might be some, um, there might be a focus on your family um, at the moment. Um, 
and it might be uh, healing. You may have to heal these issues before you're able to welcome a significant other. Guidance for Capricorn, guidance for Capricorn. Angels and guides, please bring through a message for Capricorn. Confidence is your key to success. Step out in confidence this week, Capricorn. You also may have a Leo around you as well. So I do see victory and success. If you have confidence, you have the key to your own success, Spirit is telling me. Beautiful. What do you need to release? What do you need to release? Is it family issues? Is it something to do with freeing yourself from a difficult circumstance, mentality, emotional situation? What is it that you need to release? But there is something and that's why this card is showing up for you this week. Guidance for Capricorn. Angels and guides, please bring through a message for Capricorn. This one here is yours, the four of air. This can mean that there is limited or no communication or cut off contact from someone. It might be time to take a rest, a vacation, time to get away from your usual routine. Definitely the, the air is about your mental state. So calmness mentally is really important this week. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. The seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. If you are worried about something, then the spirit is aware of that and they don't want you to worry or stress about it. It's in their hands. There may be a temporary pause in action as well. So it might seem like you're stuck in a situation or something is at a stalemate, but that's okay. There will be a breakthrough soon. It's just a temporary pause in action. This is a fantastic week to start to plant seeds of a manifestation that you'd like to bring into your life. The Queen of Air. Objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. So we're touching on a few different messages that have already showed up for you in this reading. So clearing away what no longer serves you. What do you need to release? Okay, so we have that message. And also the humor in the situation. Have fun, laughter, release, see the humor. Balance. This is Sagittarius's card. It's temperance. So you may have a Sagittarius around you perhaps. The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. There's a pause in action. As shown by the seven of earth in some way, you're waiting patiently. Um, perfect timing, divine timing is going to come into play with this situation. Making sure that you are able to compromise or there's cooperation that's needed in your workplace or in your personal life place it where it fits and there's moderation as well that's needed this week the ace of water is a new beginning emotionally you may be falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship spiritual growth and enhanced intuition there may be a new home on the horizon as well The seven of fire. Defend your beliefs and decisions. Stand your ground. Choose your battles wisely. Powerful reading. Powerful reading. Powerful energies. So let's take a look now at the pendulum. If you have a question that you would like to ask your guides, your angels, spirit, then think of that question now and we'll receive an answer. And 
the answer is no. So see how your own intuition feels about that and the question that you have asked about. I hope this reading has been helpful for you and the spirit has come through clearly for you. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.